This is a story about ten cents sunshine and crepes in the story called Begetta from the producers of Thomas the Tank Engine and Fans and told read aloud by me, Christopher James Rush. Tanks films and books were made in 1988 and 1989. This is a story of tension, sunshine and crepes. Crepes submitted something was telling them that there was some trouble for him and it means the knife doesn't want him anymore and using him as a target in the fine display. Ten cents and sunshine can't let this happen, so they decided to get him out of there. It was the day of the big sitter at Getter, and Ten cents and sunshine were very excited. At the end of the day, they'd bear a grand parade when the tugs were to decorated barges through the harbour. Having something very special on them was interesting and special. At the start, uh, the tugs were making plans. I wish I could enter the parade, said Warrior, who is a poor Lord Stinker, the rubbish barge. The other tugs laughed. This the prize for decorated barges, Fabio. So Ted said, you know that. Now, later that day, Ted Sets and Sunshine are just getting themselves ready for work of making some things for the getter. When a sad set of crepes, the midget something, came up to them. He looked, Fabio, about something. I read about 
something that doesn't look good for him. What's the matter, Crippers? You feeling sad about something, huh? Well, you truth, you don't mind me asking you, said Crippers, but neither the planning choose me as a target in the firing display at the getter. They say no longer needed, so that curbs to blew me up. Oh, no! Old spot, but me stick, said Ten Cents and Sunshine. I was deeply shocked. No one said something to them that they were going to blow up a simpler crepus. A moment later, Pooners, the naval tug, arrived to tear Crepus away. Um, sorry, you two, he said. I need him for some target practice. Oh, no, Crepus. Poor Crepus got turned away. Better right, then, guys. See you later. Just remember that God turns it. See you later, poor little friend. Said Ten Cents and Sunshine. They watched in horror as they saw Crepus being turned away until gone. <coughs> as fast as the fans controlling the engines would carry them. friend Crepus. It might be rather dangerous, he said. Look, they don't care. Ted said, Crepus is our friend. Let's go. And off they went. Sunshine and Ten Cents turned an old barge out to the target area. They passed a sign that said, Danger! Target area! Keep out. You see, Lord, said Sunshine. Those are the knife ships and crickets to us this morning. Now, listen, said Ted said. Must get Crepus out of there. Put the barge in his place, then sail him in between us. Now look at the cannons. It bites a fire. Quick now! Do as you say! And quickly they did. Crepus was shocked as his friends. What on earth are you doing, uh, This place isn't safe. Stay clear. Calm yourself, Crepus, my lad. It's hard to get you out of there. Just come in between us and all, it'll be all right. All right, then. They set Crepus in between them and left the barge in the place, in his place, and quickly scurried away. <laughs> 